Welcome to the Qi Skills Self Mastery Podcast. We are Didi and Arma, and we teach Qigong, Hermetics, and Nutritional Qigong. In this podcast, we talk about the energy methods that have helped us, our students, and now hopefully you move forward. We share how we develop the self mastery skills needed to fully reconnect, get unstuck, and heal. Discover the missing link, learn how to build internal power, and take that next big step towards your authentic self and the aligned life you know truly reflects why you are here at this specific time. Now let's begin. As you maybe have noticed, we renamed the podcast to the Chi Skills Self Mastery Podcast. And as we were talking about coming back with the podcast, searching for new topics, we were thinking, what is it actually we're looking for? What are the people who train with us looking for? And it is self-mastery. Mm. So that's why we decided to change it around for now and see how we can investigate this topic uh, from different angles. And of course, everyone on this path started somewhere waking up yeah. to maybe something has to change in me. Right, Didi? Yeah. I mean, self-mastery starts somewhere. This, this, yeah. this, this whole idea that it has to start with you. And I think... Probably most people don't start with the idea like one morning I wake up and wow, I'm going to go on a quest for self-mastery. Yeah, yeah, I could go visit my mom or maybe go on a quest <laughs> for self-mastery. Yeah. And most of the time that's not how it works. No. But we're, I think for, for a lot of people that, uh, and ourselves included, is that one day you do wake up and say, wow, something needs to change absolutely something you know it's i'm I, I kind of feel stuck in my life i feel that it's not going some it's not going to the right place it's i had dreams i had mm. things that i wanted to do with my life and it's not going that direction um most of the time you hear people also say that something happened something yeah. big an event in their lives like uh, maybe burnout or illness or loss maybe loss or yeah. or something that's that kind of is so big that you kind of look at your own life is this what i really yeah want with is this why i'm here on this earth and all these big questions come up but for others it's more a gradual a process yeah. that you kind of from conditioning from you know from from well said yeah uh, from whatever you know your upbringing you you kind of gradually move into a life and at a certain time you think wow what what is this is yeah. this really what i want um and then maybe first or it, that's for me, I'm sure. Um, first, you start blaming your surroundings. You're, you're, you're kind of looking outside of yourself mm -hmm. like, oh, pff, but my job is not good and I'm going to change my job. Or um, uh, maybe um, the people around me, they're not that sophisticated or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's, but it's, it's kind it, of, there's a resistance, right? There's, there's there a, is something. Yeah. Up till the point that you think, mm, maybe it's not them. Because when I, when I go and have another job, it starts again. So in another, yeah. in another way. You so know? you wake up to your own pattern. You yeah. can see your own pattern and see, wait a minute, doesn't it start with me? And obviously people, they experience heavy things in their lives, right? Absolutely. There's so many things that come your way as you, as you grow up in this life. And of course, everyone has their conditioning happening your culture, you know, your, your, your parents, your direct family, what's expected of you. All these things are, are, are yeah, put on you and you start living with that. But for a lot of people, I think, who wake up to this, who really have, well, it's a courage, I think, to, yeah. to, to take that step and look inside. Um, it must have been pretty heavy and, and yeah. it probably has been going on for a long time. Maybe patterns repeating, you know, it could go lead to... You know, some, some of these people are super sensitive as well. So it might be that you find yourself in addictions. Um, there's, there, there's many uh, different uh, levels, I think. But you, all of them wake up to that, what you're, sh yeah. what you're saying. But there's at this moment where that actually happens, maybe you, you can relate. 
there's, there's this separation happening in you. There's this awareness coming up, like bang, oh, it's me. And this separation is very interesting because I, I also experienced that. And there was a very spiritual uh, separation happening. It's like I could see myself for what it was. Instead of before, I was so locked into these patterns yeah. and emotions and thought patterns and noise, you could say, that I didn't see that. It was so, I mean, it was almost like turned around. The noise suppressed that, right? Until the hurt inside was so heavy and the need became so apparent that there was this shift happening, yeah. right? Like more like an instant shift, like boom, ah, it's me. I can yeah. see it now. And that never let me go again. You know, mm. that, that, that was just there. And of course, sometimes this would happen, but it was th this awareness shift created the gap to also the question is like, who am I? Yeah. Who am I then? You know, am, who, who is it in these patterns and who is, who, who is thinking and who is feeling? So this question also came up. And um, that has never left me. And it's not only the question, who am I? It's also the question, what is this here? Yeah. You know? And then things found me. Mm. And maybe you can relate as well. You're, you're listening to this podcast. So is it really you start searching for something or, or do things come in your life when you're mm. ready for the shift? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It's like a book that's handed to you. Or... Yeah. And the, the, the beautiful thing... I was very fortunate to have that experience at a very young age uh, of like, oh, is it my surrounding or is it me? Because mm -hmm. um, I lived in Thailand when I was 16 as an exchange student. And I lived with a family and 60 years old, you're still very young, very um not aware as much but I live with a family and I had prob it was very much countryside yeah. uh, rural area I didn't speak the language so it was kind of a difficult situation but at a certain point I felt like oh uh, there I, 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 I didn't feel at home in the family and I felt like oh uh, can I go to another family because it's it just isn't this is not a fit right and I talked with my counselor and and she arranged for me to go to another family and then I lived with this other family and the same things appeared right and so I I just went into the same patterns in the same and after a while I was like hmm, hmm. Okay. Is it them? Or? <laughs> it, was, it was so in my face because I was in this, in this situation, which is so, you, you put yourself into a complete different culture, a completely different surrounding. I had, this is 1995, 1996, so yeah. there was no internet. Um, there was a phone, but very expensive. So the only thing I could do is write letters. It took 10 days to uh, arrive, arrive back, in Holland, back yeah. home and then 10 days before they could write me. So 20 days in between. Yeah. Um, so there was no direct contact with the family at home. Um, so I had to figure it out by myself. Yeah. And But this learned me from this very young age, like, oh, I do have to look at myself. And I, and I wish... Everyone had this opportunity to have this kind of experience. Wow, yeah, yeah. Um, but that really woke me up like, oh, I did change a, a second time <laughs> to a third family. But now there was a different starting point yeah. because then I was like, oh, wait, I have to do something else here. Yeah. I yeah. have to behave in a different way. And of course... I did speak more of the language and I did speak uh, and I knew more of the culture. So it yeah. was easier to integrate, but it, it was much more an effort from my side than from their side. Yeah. And then it went beautifully. Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. And you're still in touch with them after almost 30 years. Yes. So that's, that's quite incredible. And yeah. the funny thing is, of course, they take you to Buddhist temples, etc. And yeah. I mean, you know, this awareness thing happening at such yeah. a young age is, is just beautiful. And that puts you on a path. And um, 
So yeah, that's very interesting. So yeah, things come your way when yeah. this separation happens and you start looking for things, things come your way. Um, the spirit opens up. There's a tuning fork, I guess, that happened to me. You know, that's when you see something then and you read something or this, this tuning fork and you start vibrating on it. So, and it, 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 it has a match yeah. because you're not coming from a filter of like, blah, blah, blah. No, it's more like it's, you hear it, you feel it. Yeah. And like this, 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 this will work for me. There's just this inner trust and you start moving towards that. And for me, like Tai Chi came very sudden after that. It was like two, men, two months after that, that, that switch that happened in me, Tai Chi came into my life. And I was so attracted to it because it was slow, it was still, there was a lot of focus. So it, was, it, 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 it showed me a lot of the things that I wasn't having, having at that moment, right? The concentration, the in the moment thing. Uh, so uh, there was an attraction there that just uh, that pulled me in. And I could, of course, could not see where that could lead me further down the road, right? Absolutely. But at that moment, it was like, oh, I, I really trust this because there's there's just this inner knowing that there's some something there for me. Yeah. And the funny thing is, Tai Chi came into your life at that particular moment. I also came yeah. into your life. <laughs> oh, I should have said that first. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, but it was no, the other way around. First it was, it was first, Tai Chi. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah. So it, it's kind of a funny thing how... how um, yeah. When you open up and then and then magically um, things are starting. Things to are happen. starting, and now we're sitting here, right? Yeah. Uh, more than twenty years after that event, so it is. It's pretty incredible. I hope you can relate in some way that you see in yourselves, like, oh, there that happened, and then things just start moving and happening, because a higher part of yourself is just coming in contact with. No, yeah, yeah, you could say systems or methods because you're not the first one to wake up, right? Yeah. I mean, there's been generations, generations, generations to do so. And out of that comes a quest and out of that comes experience like, okay, what works, what doesn't work? How can you start refining yourself? What are methods that lead you from where you are now to, to a next step? And um, so you don't have to really invent the wheel again. Mm. In a way, you have to because you have to go through the experience. Knowing is not enough here. Yeah. It's all about experience. Um, but that's also the beauty of it, right? You can, you can just go into that and, 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 and leave no stone unturned there. Because yeah. who are you? you know? there's, there's a lot about it. And it's not only you. It's also your environment where you're living in. And maybe up to that point, you have been seeing that in a very limited way, because this is also how you grow up. You grow up surrounded by people that most of them are not on a conscious path of self-mastery. So they hand down the condition, conditioning time and time again. It's like, yeah, we know we're hurting, you know, we're in the rat race, but are we changing anything? Not really, right? We, yeah. They just haven't woken up to that thing yet. Yeah. You have. So that becomes a place that you might feel like, Ooh, you know, yeah. um, how to go about this because it can be pretty lonely as well, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, but then you come in resonance with things like Tai Chi, Qigong, Hermetics, Buddhism, could be Taoism. Something comes in your way, you read a book or something, comes in your life and it's like, wait a minute, I'm not alone at all. No. Right? I'm, not, I'm not alone. Yeah. yeah, and sometimes there's a book on your shelf for many years. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then and then maybe you've read a couple of pages, and then you pick it up again, and you're like, now it makes sense. Yeah, now it makes sense totally. So, I remember my 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 first tai chi, tai chi teacher. I was at his house with with someone else as well. We were sometimes training at this place, which was really great. So Rahul, if you're hearing this, you know, this is about you. Um, he, um, he, he taught us so many things. And at a certain point, I was like, what is it actually we're looking for? Because the word self-mastery was not really in my vocabulary at that point. It was not like I wake up, it's like, oh, let's do some self-mastery. It was not like that. It was way more gradual, right? It's like this waking up process. So I asked him, what is it actually we're doing? We're doing Tai Chi and Qigong, things like that. What are we looking for? What, where, where are we moving towards? And he says, skill. And that hit home. I was like, skill. Yeah, man. Kung Fu. Skill, skill. right? Yeah. I didn't see it yet, but then at that point that he said that, and then he came with a story, which I, 
I tell a lot of people and which I really, really <laughs> like. Because he, uh, he was also explaining Taoism to us. He knew a lot, knows a lot, sorry, Ru. He knows a lot about that. And we had a lot of conversations about that. And then he tried to explain this path of self-mastery to us. And he said, imagine yourself being a gear wheel in an endless, infinite clockwork of gear wheels. Some very small and some so large that you cannot even see them as a, as a, a gear wheel. And some move very slow, some move very fast. And, but you are one in that, of them in this clockwork. And these wheels are also touching you. So you wake up in this idea that I'm a fly, I'm this gear wheel being touched and everything is moving. So, okay, you start moving with that as you grow up and these wheels influence you in a certain way of turning until this moment where you just become tired because you're also in resistance with that. You wake mm -hmm. up to that because you're being pushed, yeah. right? But on the other hand, you're pushing as well. Right? So you wake up to your own resistance, living for a while. It's like, yeah, okay, you tell me this, this is what I should do. This is where I should move. But at a certain point, there's something in you already starting to awake. Like, but there's something off. Something is not right about how this is moving. Right? And this is where, this might not be your wake up moment yet, but this is where you come into resistance, where this is where you come into patterns. It's like you're trying to break through something that you cannot see yet, right? You have these feelings like you have like this elastic wire on your back and you start moving because you feel somewhere I have something to do in this life. I, there's, there should be a higher meaning to this all, right? A deeper meaning. So, but this is where this starts happening, you know, this, uh, this resistance. Well, as this waking up moment comes, you're like, wait a minute. Maybe it's not only what's moving me, but how am I controlling and what is my, what is my influence here? Am I pushing as well? Am I controlling? Now you start waking up, you start coming into this awareness, you come into some sort of teaching, something comes your way, and now you start becoming aware of that. And people teach you because some people have woken up to this before you and they start teaching you saying, do you, can you see your own resistance with this? Can you see your own thought patterns? Can you see your own behaviors and how you are in resistance maybe with your environment? Because of course, there's a lot of things happening to people which are very serious. And, but in the end, it's starting with you if you want to move beyond that. It's like beyond these experiences, seeing am I still in resistance with what happened? Traumas, things like mm -hmm. that, what's happening right now? Or can I have a different perspective on that and start releasing around that? Okay, so you start working and now what you can feel is that you start coming in more and more flow with these wheels around you. Because you can also see through knowing yourself and understanding yourself is that these wheels around you are also influenced and also conditioned. But this starts up a freeing up process. Right, so you as a wheel can see, okay, I'm in this place all the time and now there's more flow, less resistance happening. You see what other wheels are doing, so your awareness becomes bigger. And now you can also see, but where, I don't have to stay here. I don't have to stay on this spot as this wheel. This wheel can rotate and can roll and see a path of less resistance. And now how does this path unfold because maybe now I can see yeah but wait a minute that wheel has contact with that wheel and that goes there and this is where this tuning fork is guiding me so this is where a path starts appearing of less resistance and obviously at a certain point you start getting these self mastery skills done right you start healing yourself and but out of that maybe comes also the idea maybe I can give something back because you're experienced now right so this path whichever way it goes for you through your own unique talents, you could be handing down how you experience that and maybe keep this thing alive, right? Because it's an, a living thing. Qigong, Hermetics, Taoism, it's, it's a living thing. I mean, of course, there's books about it and this should be it, but that's not really true. It's a living mm -hmm. thing. You live that, right? You live that development. You have your own view on it. Because you develop that, you have your own talents. Now, through your talents, can you lead a path of service? 
right? Yeah. Because you are one of these wheels who is moving more and more freely where you can see the others are more and more stuck. You can see them suffering, right? But maybe now someone is waking up as well because there's con continuously people waking up, yeah. of course. Yeah. So bringing that back to this, 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 this shift in awareness, um, which can happen through burnouts or heavy things as well, it's like, well, this could be the best thing happening to you. Right? Because yeah. this starts the whole process and, and the quest for self-mastery. Yeah. Right? So I hope I explained it in a, in a way that you can understand what I mean. I, I found it very, very uh, um, spot on. You yeah. Know? Um, oh, yeah. It's, uh, I, I see a movie there. <laughs> you know, with this little gear wheel. Yeah. It's like trying to figure out where do I fit and... I can see that that the other gear wheels that these are your environment, your family, your um, all these things around you that that kind of keep you in place when you grow up, and then yeah. you you see different ways, and you see and and then at a certain time, at, um, you you feel that you've been shifted to another place. Well, think about it, you know for you but also for people listening it's like as you as, as you go back now in the story i told you where are you right now have you just woken up to it are you still in this process like oh i seek information etc great you know but maybe you already are on a path exploring things pieces little pieces here and there where you feel oh there's already a little bit more flow in my life you know i can, I can hope that you see that it goes through different stages and but the, the, the great thing is, you know, at, look at ourselves, you know, yeah, we knew where we were when we woken up with that, that wheel being like, ah, 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 I'm in resistance with myself, in resistance with my environment. And now we do this podcast, right? Yeah. So you're in a different place right now, right? You start moving, things have shifted and you're in a much more happy place and a place of power in a place of authenticity. Wherever you are right now in that story, you know, I mean, it's a continuous process. And I'm very yeah. curious to see where we are in like five years, you know, because yeah, it keeps absolutely. developing, right? Absolutely. It's not like, okay, now I'm, I'm master of myself. No, 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 no. It's a continuous it's, uh, yeah. process. I, ho I hope as long, well, as long as I live, I will keep developing and keep growing. But what I do see is that um, through experience and and. And especially when the reconnection came with um, my energy, mm -hmm. uh, when I uh, was training Qigong, that was such a shift going of on course, there. There course. was such a shift because then it, it, it kind of, all the books that I read before that, it just kind of clicked. And then I was yeah. like, oh, wow. Yeah, now it's the I way get in. it. It's the way in. And yeah. now I, I can blend all the other stuff together. Um, I, I understand the teachings of Buddha much better. Um, I understand, uh, uh, you know, Eckhart Tolle, Power of yeah. Now better. When you I, read it um, now, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Uh, Tony Robbins. I, yeah. I understand it much better now that I have the, the, the connection with my... Um, yeah, with energy, but also um, well on all these levels, all right? This, yeah. So, so think about it. You know, it's with this opening, this awareness shift, this separation that happens in you. The question, "Who am I?" This is the great thing about qigong. You know, this is so great about understanding yourself beyond what you uh, identified yes. with um, before the shift happened, right? So. Who are you, right? So these these methods, like hermetics, like like qigong, they investigate that. Who am I? You know. So you go on the vibrational skill. Okay, I know I'm physical, but there's there's more, right? Yeah. So learning how I can influence myself, I have to understand myself on every level. So physically, vitally, astrally, the soul, mentally, but then also my surroundings, right? So there's this microcosm. In the macrocosm happening, and this understanding happening, you and you now you can see these you 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 can, you can see these um, these uh, gear wheels better, but you can also see where the energy that moves these things mm. happens, 
yeah. and you can understand what's underneath you can you you start coming to an understanding out of the experience right and so being being introduced and initiated into these frequencies and to into this process of alchemy gives you the tools also to work on all these frequencies yeah. and understand yourself connected again right because the hurt the hurt that people have where the separation comes out of is this feeling of being cut off yeah. this feeling this like you're alone this yeah. disconnection right yeah. yeah so of course you know this is these topics we're going to go in deep into obviously yeah. in next podcasts right uh, i mean it's all about that this exploration who am i and on 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 on, on each level, we're going to explore this resistance, right? Physically, vitally, astrally, so in the soul and mentally. Where is the resistance in you so that we can open again? We can open ourselves to what wants to come through. What is the purpose here, right? Yeah. It's a spiritual path. But it's well laid out, you know? It's not, it's not something that we make up here. No, this has been handed down from generation to generation for people who are ready for this information to, you know, to, to, to land and to live, yeah. you know, it's an experience thing. So, um, you know, you want it, you want it enough, you can get it, yeah. you know, so uh, opening for this mystery and understanding yourself better yeah. is, is, is the way to self mastery. Yeah. So, but that's for future podcast. Yeah. No. And, and, and to close it off with is that, what I notice on this path is that there is like, you start with one step and it maybe doesn't go very fast beginning, but after a while things come your way and there's an acceleration Absolutely. and it goes faster and, and all these beautiful things are starting to happen. And then you wake up, you think, wow, I live a different life. Now. Oh, for sure. And of course the way there is bumpy. Yeah, oh, and, and, and people know this, you know, looking into yourself, yeah. you know, it can sometimes be pretty intimidating. It's like, oh man, really? So, you know, but as you say, things start happening and you, yeah. it's like, wow, you know, you start opening up and opening up to these experiences and they find you. Yeah, you know, but it's, yeah. uh, it's not all flowers, you know, all the time. Mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a path of self-discovery. It's an honest path for sure. Yeah. It's very sincere, being sincere with yourself. But uh, maybe we can end with Rule again, who said to me, it's like, so every minute you invest in this process will be paid yeah. back a million fold. Yeah. And he was right, for yeah, sure. Absolutely. So um, we hope that for you as well. So. Yeah. And maybe it's good to tell you that um, we're work of, we have been working on this beautiful program, a private mentoring self-mastery program. Yep. Uh, that will be open on the 22nd of October. Yep. Uh, then we open up for three people for this beautiful uh, journey yeah, that absolutely. we're going on to. So it's a 10 and a half month journey. Yeah. But to celebrate this, the, 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 because we're launching this for the first time, uh, we're going to add an extra month for the three people who, uh, who, who want to work with us. And yeah. Uh, we're, uh, yeah, that's going to be great. I mean, yeah. guiding you through a year of uh, self-mastery, self-development and self-awareness. So um, stay tuned for that. If you want to stay tuned for that, by the way, go to cheeseskills.com or click on the link below where you can sign up for the newsletter so you can receive emails on how to join, how to sign up, what the process there is. And um, yeah, hope to see you there. Okay. Thank you for listening. Thanks for listening. And uh, until the next one. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.